All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to read kind of an article. And this happened back in 2015, around the same time my daughter died. Okay, on Friday at press conference, Lafayette Police Chief Jim Kraft identified the movie theater shooter John Russell Hauser. Uh, the 59-year-old white male was described as a kind of drifter by Kraft, who said Hauser had been living in Lafayette, Louisiana since earlier this month. Okay, we got a drifter. <laughs> a drifter! Wow. Um, okay, according to police, Wiggs and um, whatever found Hauser dwelling in his car, which was parked si outside the exit. According to police, Wiggs and Wigs and disguises were found. Yeah, Wigs in Hauser's dwelling. Um, I don't think that's a reason to think that somebody, which was parked outside the exit door of the theater, it was apparent that his was tent on shooting and escaping with what happened with a, a quick law enforcement response forced him back into the theater in which he shot himself. They're always shooting themselves. Okay, a drifter is going to get a wig and walk into a movie cinema and shoot some stranger he doesn't even know. Now, I don't know who's believing this bullshit, but I'm not. It's the same thing when they said my daughter overdosed on heroin. Okay, so where'd she get the heroin? She was so sick from being electronically tortured and used as a science experiment that she was trapped in her house. So somebody brought her heroin, okay? And then somebody threatened me right before. I'm not going to get into all the evidence, but let's, let's talk about this case. Ladies and gentlemen, this is disgusting. I mean, it is disgusting what I'm about to tell you, okay? All right, Hauser fired 13 rounds in the theater with a 40 caliber handgun, which was recovered. Okay, a drifter walking around with fake wigs and a handgun, walking into a movie cinema, firing 13 rounds. What was his motive? I don't know. Police identified the C says Macy Bro, 21, and Julian Johnson, 33. Jesus dies at 33, right? Isn't that funny how her name is Jillian Johnson? Um, and then, of course, there were nine um, victims that were critically injured. They don't mention their name. Um, so, ladies and gentlemen, I go, to, um, I go to look up Marcy Bro, and it says, Remembering Her. She worked at a uh, dress like um, studio. She studied at Louisiana State University at Eunice. Uh, was in Lafayette. Where, ladies and gentlemen, Lafayette is like one of the... I mean, almost everything leads to uh, to Lafayette area where my ex-wife was, Leesville, and all that bullshit. Uh, Fort Polk region. Um... So when I look at Macy Bro's friends, ladies and gentlemen, it's the same thing. Same people, same friends. It looks like she was being targeted. It looks like she was being gang stalked by these same people. And um, it it's disgusting. So uh, let me let me just show you what I found. Um, a lot of medical people there, you know. Uh, so I'm trying to find this. So just, ladies and gentlemen, just all the same damn people that were involved in my daughter's death are friends with this same girl. Unbelievable. Same people. It's like there's a mob of private sector job killers running around, staging movie cinema shootings, 
doing fake hazings. Uh, some Hispanic guys choking a girl named Holly. Some other girl runs into the runs into a pond and they can't recover her. And then some some other guy uh, some other girl gets lost in the woods and they and they find her dead. Uh, and ladies and gentlemen, all of these people have the same psyop friends. Now, I don't know about you, they're from all different parts of the world, but they have the same friends. Unbelievable. Okay, so the first thing I do, ladies and gentlemen, is I look up uh, people that were her friends. So I find somebody named Johnson Simmons, okay, uh, you know, studied at the LSU Health Science Center, you know, and uh, then I find, uh, and this is probably the most disturbing, okay, and this is the exact same thing that happened to my daughter. Um, a relative, okay, that undergraduate research assistant at Baylor University, okay, Baylor is in Waco, Texas, where the Waco shooting was, remember that? And um, she studies biomedical engineering at Baylor University. Now, when I go look up Baylor University, well, I already know this, okay? Uh, all you got to do is go to the computer into Google and type in Baylor University, the Brain Initiative. And there you go, boom. Brain Initiative supports research at Baylor College Medicine. Brain Initiative supports, uh, let's see, Brain Initiative supports Baylor research of, of psychology and computer science at the University of Minnesota, Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, um, this girl that died in a movie cinema shooting with a drifter, with a wig, with no motive, and of course he shoots himself. I, what? They're always shooting themselves. A drifter with a wig shooting themselves. And ladies and gentlemen, when I look at this little girl that was shot, 21 years old, she's drop-dead beautiful just like my daughter. Uh, and it just makes me want to cry because I'm like, who could do something like this? Who could take a, a beautiful little girl and do human experiments on them and then pretend like some drifter shot up a movie cinema so that they can take away our guns? You know, that it, 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 it's a double-edged sword. They're, they're, they're knocking out two birds with one stone. First, number one, they're getting rid of our guns. Number two, they're getting rid of the evidence so nobody will sue them for the brain initiative. Because, ladies and gentlemen, I would guarantee you, okay, now I'm not, I, I didn't talk to anybody, you know, but I would guarantee you, I would find out if I looked up the medical records that this girl was probably having some type of health, health issues. You want to bet me? Or she was maybe addicted to some type of drug, okay? Uh, because they get these people on drugs. So, um, ladies and gentlemen, I've found so many cases like this. I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm starting to want to throw up. Okay. It, it's making me that sick. Um, so, what I would do, I would love for the parents to call Baylor University and say, okay, you're doing the brain initiative. Um, explain this to me. How, whose brain are you initiating? You know, what, what the hell's going on? You know, are, did you do any research on humans? Of course they did. They can play stupid and deny, oh, I don't know anything about that. Blah, 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 blah. Ladies and gentlemen, the Brain Initiative, they're dumping more money into the Brain Initiative that they did in Vietnam, Korea, and uh, Iran and Iraq war combined. There's so much money going into this, it's insane. Billions and billions and billions of dollars. 
by the National Institute of Health, and it's being funded by Goldman Sachs and the Rockefeller administration, mainly. And a lot of other corporations like car dealers and, and uh, you know, because they want smart cars and home, you know, home places. And, you know, and all of these minions that are doing the killing, they're getting promised that they're going to get a piece of the pie. You know, oh, we're going to give you a cut of it. Ladies and gentlemen, I promise you, the people that are committing these crimes are going to wind up dead themselves. There is no way that they're going to share a piece of the pie with you, especially when you went out and killed somebody. Okay? So let's go to the second victim. All right? His name is, um, her name is Julian Johnson. And ladies and gentlemen, exactly to the letter of what happened to my daughter. The people that perpetrated the crime were posting on social media, oh, I miss her. I loved her so much. Oh, poor me. I loved her so much. Yeah, because they're CIA trained bullshitters. Because ladies and gentlemen, I'm looking at a post of a guy that was tied to my daughter's death. All right. And he's saying, Oh, I loved Julian so much. She was so talented. I'm going to read it to you. Julian Johnson, 82 to 2015. She was amazing talent. I felt fortunate to be a part of her life and things like that, right? And then another guy that's tied into my daughter's death. Julian Johnson was more native and essential. I don't I don't have the whole thing. Let us remember her, you know, and all this bullshit. And I am telling you, the people that posted this, I have tied to my daughter's death and my stalking and my... Because, ladies and gentlemen, I've been involved in the Brain Initiative myself. Why they chose me, I, I think I was a really good salesman. I don't know. But because every job I ever had, I was the best salesman. So... I've won more awards in sales than anybody I, that I've even read about. So I was an extraordinary salesperson. Now, maybe they want to build a salesperson robot. I don't know, because a lot of most of the people that are targeting me are in the car business. And they're promising these car dealers that they're going to get a big cut. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm telling you what, they're not going to share a damn dime with you. Okay, you killed somebody and they're going to they're going to have you arrested pretty soon. They're going to they're going to pretend they're going to play stupid just like you're doing and then they're going to go, oh, "I didn't know anything about it." You know? That was you doing that. That was you know, I didn't do that because rich people, we know this by Hillary Clinton and George Soros and Bill Clinton and and the Bush family. We we know that they don't go to prison. Shit. They can pretty much you know, walk up and shoot the president in the head and they still walk around free. Uh, we're going to indict them in, 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 in 60 years. Well, they'll be dead in 60 years. Well, that's when, you know, you know, they, there's always some kind of excuse why they don't arrest, arrest these people. So, but I don't know, ladies and gentlemen, but there's no question in my mind that this shooting in Lafayette was bullshit. It was staged by the police. No question in my mind about it. Because it's the same exact friends that my daughter had. Same, same damn stalkers my daughter had. From and, and my daughter was in uh, New Orleans, and these this girl was in Lafayette. So I don't know how you explain that. So she had the same friends as my daughter. Bullshit. Same connections. Same families. Same perps. Same insurance companies getting insurance policies on these kids because they know they're going to die. Uh, and, and you know something? I know I'm talking to the people who are committing these crimes. But I am telling you, I don't care what they promise you. You know, I've even seen you post on your social media pages bragging about you killing that person. I have no clue what they've told you. But I can tell you one thing. My daughter was a was an amazing genius of a girl. And then, then when I look at these people, they're beautiful. 
talented people. Because ladies and gentlemen, in the Brain Initiative, they didn't choose below average people. Okay? Number of first people they chose was military. So that means the first robots they will make will be military. I'll guarantee you. Will be police and military. So ladies and gentlemen, if the police are committing all these crimes, you know how they're going to get rid of you? They're going to expose what you did and then they're going to replace you with robots. It's a perfect cover story. Oh, look, the police are so corrupt. We've got these robot. We got the robot initiative. And then, you know, if we go forth with the robots, then we won't have crooked cops. I can see it right now. It makes total sense that they would replace the crooked cops. Listen, they're paying the cops. And I'm not saying all the cops are crooked. OK, I'm not saying that. But they're paying the majority of the police on the side, ex-police officers, private sector jobs, ex-FBI agents, CIA, NSA, DOJ. They're paying these people to commit crimes. And I promise you, they're going to have you arrested soon. And then they're going to bring in their robots. Because, ladies and gentlemen, if they're spending billions, trillion, look, if you doubt me, that this is the largest amount of money that has ever been spent on anything. They, they spent way less on going to the moon. They spent way less on Iran and Iraq. Okay, they're spending more money in the brain initiative. And it's amazing that the average person don't know what the hell that means. So it's an under the table technology that's going to be launched. Because ladies and gentlemen, if you're going to make robots... You can't just walk up on TV and say, okay, we're going to replace humans with robots. You can't do it. It's got to be genocide. It's got to be under the table. And it's got to be a very perfectly planned operation. And ladies and gentlemen, there's nothing more perfect than to make the public officials corrupt and then expose them when they commit the crimes. So what I'm telling you is please stop killing the people that were used as human experiments and take these people into the courtrooms and have these corporations sieged. Ladies and gentlemen, the brain initiative, number one, was done by foreign money, which is the Rockefeller administration. And Goldman Sachs is 100 percent fiat. It's it's foreign currency. Don't tell me Goldman Sachs is an American corporation. You are an idiot if you think that. Now, the power companies like Bechtel, the airlines, all owned by foreign. Matter of fact, when you look at the Brain Initiative, you will see people from Iran and Iraq and Jordan and China and Russia. All of them invest. They're, they're all investing in this foreign. So what they're doing is they're using Americans as human experiments for the Brain Initiative to build robots in America and replace Americans with robots. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to remain being the superpower, but it's going to be done with technology. They are sick and tired of giving somebody a gun, and they have second thoughts about killing innocent people. Because, ladies and gentlemen, robots will kill anybody. I don't care what you look like. I don't care what you say. I don't care what religion you are. Once they touch in that keyboard and that drone, yeah, because they're not, it's not just mechanical robots that they're going to have. They're going to have drones. And those drones are going to be thinking like a human. I'm telling you. But they will be thinking like a war like human. Because, like I said, the first robots they will build will be robotic police and robotic military. Now, ladies and gentlemen, they have gotten the Marines the Air Force, the Army, and the Navy, all involved in the Brain Initiative and in targeting these people, stalk, gang-stalking them, gaslighting them, torturing them. Why would they get our own military? Let me tell you why. Because they plan on throwing all of these men and women in prison for what they did and then replacing them with robots. Because, ladies and gentlemen, it's easy to convince the American population when... When the mainstream media pretends like they had nothing to do with this, which they did, and then they propagate this story like, 
Wow, look at all, look at the corrupt district attorney and the corrupt attorneys and the corrupt uh, judges and, and the corrupt military and the corrupt police and the corrupt FBI. As a matter of fact, they're already telling you the FBI is corrupt almost every day. Okay, and we got to get rid of the FBI, get rid of them, get rid of the DOJ. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah, they're going to get rid of them, all right, and they're going to be replaced. And it's going to be like a Judge Dredd movie. They won't need lawyers. They won't need judges. The cop will be the judge. Okay, just like Judge Dredd. And they're going to they're gonna say, you have been judged. And you're going to be shot. Okay? Or you'll be locked up in prison. They won't need humans anymore. It's going to be like a Terminator movie. We're going to go to the greatest war of all, the war with the machines. Ladies and gentlemen, we're already battling the machines that are making weather. So don't tell me we're not battling machines. Because the majority of the population is getting attacked by floods and weather and earthquakes and tidal waves, which is directed energy weapons, which are machines. And guess what? They think it's God. Well, it's not God. It is man making machines that attack humanity. So it's already happening. So don't tell me, oh, that's a conspiracy theory and it's not going to happen. It's already happening. You're just an idiot and you don't know anything about solar radiation management, geoengineering, weather modification, climate change. You don't know the real climate change. That they're heating up the planet with machines called cell towers. Let me ask you a question. Is a cell tower a human? No. It's a damn machine. What about a smart meter? Is that a human? No. It's a damn machine, okay? And it's heating up the planet, and they're saying, we got to go to war with the climate. So ladies and gentlemen, here's another thing they're going to do. They're going to build machines to go to war with the climate. Remember, they always create the problem and pretend like they're the solution. That's how you get rich. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I know how to get rich, but I, I, I don't want to have nothing to do with that. I don't want to go make a bunch of people sick and then pretend like I'm, you know, and go make a drug and then say, here, here's the drug for the sickness when I'm the one that created the illness in the first place. I don't want to be a part of that. Do you? If you do, you're not human. So I'm talking to a bunch of monkeys because that's just not a human being. Do unto others as you would have them do unto yourself. Ladies and gentlemen, they've got the cops doing the wrong things to other people. They've got the FBI, the DOJ, the NSA. They've got private, they got over 20 million private sector jobs, which are ex-police officers. They got security corporations. They've got all kind of people committing crimes against human beings that were used like lab rats in these damn brain initiative programs. And what's amazing is they're reporting the results of the test so nobody can deny it. Oh, well, that's a conspiracy theory, the brain initiative, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, right. Go to the college websites and they're, they're handing out, they're showing you. Matter of fact, ladies and gentlemen, the colleges are competing to build robots right now. And they're getting millions of dollars for winning the contest. Now, there's a college that won $9 million in the Brain Initiative. They were the number one in the Brain Initiative. And ladies and gentlemen, that particular college was monitoring my brain. Now, we have evidence on these people, and we know it for a fact. So, the college got $9 million bonus because they tortured me and my daughter. It's a fact. So not only did they get billions for the research, but they got a bonus because they were number one. It's called the University of North Carolina, UNC. Go look it up. They brag about it on their website. Oh, the Brain Initiative. They won number one. Yay! Well, what brain did you initiate, sir? Whose brain did you use? I didn't volunteer for it. I never signed it. I never, I never, and if I did sign anything, it was fraud. I never 
with my own free will, consented to being your test rat and having my life destroyed. And then, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to conclude with this. We have 1,000% evidence that they tried to stage a movie cinema shooting on me. And they failed. Because I knew what they were doing. They were stalking me. And guess who was doing it? Yes, you've guessed it. The district attorney's office and their minions. Their police minions that will do anything for the DA. So that's who was staging the movie cinema shooting. So ladies, ladies and gentlemen, I was supposed to be a victim. Now, I will guarantee you that they're going to try to kill me, throw me in prison, falsely accuse me, whatever. Rig the courtrooms. I know what they're doing. But let me tell you something. I'm tricking them. They think that I don't have help. I'm even... I'm even doing something to make them feel confident that I don't have help. Because, ladies and gentlemen, I almost hope that they do. Because I have no problem in sacrificing my life for the better of mankind. But let me tell you something. Building robots is not the better of mankind. Destroying the robots is what I'm trying to convince the DA and the police to do. Stop bowing down to these damn corporations that want to replace you. And stop thinking that I'm a conspiracy theorist like a damn moron. The information is bragged about. So don't tell me that it's a conspiracy theory. That's just your weak brain and your lazy, slothful pig attitude that refuses to get on the internet and do the damn research. They brag about it. DARPA has a robot police officer. They brag about it. And Lockheed Martin brags about directed energy weapons. They brag about it. What's that? Directed energy weapon? You mean somebody came on your property and had a what? A laser gun? Ha 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 ha. Well, you stupid moron. Lockheed Martin has had laser weapons. And by the way, when you shoot them, they're not blue or green. They're invisible. They're weapons of mass destruction that President Bush can't find because they're invisible. You can't see them. Well, we can't find them. Yeah, because they're invisible. It's microwaves. You know, when I watch a chicken cook, I don't see anything, any fire coming out of the microwave. Do you? No. It's an invisible weapon. Thank you for listening, ladies and gentlemen. And I pray to God that um, you have the clarity and the love in your heart to do unto others as you would have them do unto yourself. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Forgive us this day our daily bread and forgive us for our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not until the temptation is of money and power and robots and deliver us out of the bondage of the evil men that want to build a tower of Babel. Okay? And a lake of fire and a, and a, and a bunch of machines to replace humans. Uh, lead us out of the bondage of these mentally ridiculously foolish men who don't give a shit about you. All they care about is, hell, the robot will build me a house and I don't need to listen to your bullshit. So, they already rule the world. You're just giving them more power. And then, you're taking away the guns and the protection of the men that are trying to protect themselves. What a fool you are. You cannot be human. You have to be a robot. So ladies and gentlemen, if you're a public official and you're participating in this, 
I will say it to your face, you're not human. You are a mentally ill robot. You're an Orwellian order follower and they're going to kill you after you betray your brethren. Matter of fact, you're probably going to want to kill yourself because you're going to realize that you, all of a sudden you're going to look around and go, where are all the humans? I don't know. They're all gone. It's kind of like when I was living in California. I moved there in 91. And then all of a sudden when I went there, you know, I, I went to the mall in 99 and all of the, the American people were being replaced. I couldn't find an American in the mall. Now, when I went there in 91, it was all Americans. What happened to the Americans? Where'd they go? They're being replaced. And let me tell you why they're being replaced. It's because most of it, I'm not, I'm not insulting foreign people at all. But I'm just telling you that people that come into this country and they're new into this country, they're more willing to follow orders than a Native American. Okay, and I'm not talking about a black man and I'm not talking about an Indian. Okay, I'm talking about people that have lived here and were born here. And that love our constitution and our freedoms and our liberties and love the fact that we have guns to protect ourselves from corrupt governments. Governments that want to build robots and replace us. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't think you're going to win this war with a gun. I know you're not. It's going to be peaceful nonconformity. You will not, you will say, no, I am not participating in your robot building and that's it. You're going to have to kill me in order to get me done. You're going to have to replace me. And ladies and gentlemen, you will die a prideful man and God will be proud of you. And that's what, that's what matters. Now, some of you might say, well, I'm just going to go ahead and do it because they're just going to put somebody else in there that'll do it. I might as well do it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the robot initiative is nothing short of a spiritual battle. It divides goats from sheep, yin and yang, flesh from spirit, stupid from, from wise. And that's the main goal of what's happening. Are you stupid enough to replace yourself? I, ladies and gentlemen, I don't see ants building robots to replace themselves. So that, that puts the ant in a Y state above human race. Sorry to tell you. Because, you know, the humans have this ego like we're the superior species. Well, let me tell you something. There's nothing superior about destroying your habitat, your oceans, your waters below your feet, the drinking water with fracking, uh, pumping up massive water vapor. Uh, let me tell you something. Do you know that there were horses, I think, in North and South Carolina? And there was a guy on the news and he said, don't worry about the horses. They'll know what to do during the storm. Well, ladies and gentlemen, how come a horse knows what to do during a storm? But the humans don't. They need protection. They need troops to move in. They need, they, they need uh, saviors. Somebody come save me. But the horse knows exactly what to do. <laughs> There is nobody going to tell me that the human race is above the animals. It's amazing that we eat animals. And they're, in the eyes of God, all dogs go to heaven. They are wiser than a human. The horses would be placed on this planet and you'd come back 10 million years and they'd still be horses on the planet. And they wouldn't destroy their own habitat. But... Ladies and gentlemen, the human race can't last that long. Sorry to tell you that. They'll destroy themselves, you know, a hundred times within that, that term. And then they'll try to rebuild. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we better start waking up that we, the only way that we're the superior race is by living by God's law, period. We cannot live by the law of man and build a robot and replace the human. That That is... That, that is the law of man. That is not the law of God. I assure you, God didn't come down and say, here, here's, I, built, I made, I made him, humans in the image of, my, of myself. 
but I want you to replace them humans with robots. I, I don't think so. I think it would be an insult to the creator. Uh, if you think anything different, let me know. But uh, if you do think anything different, uh, you know, instead of taking me to court and claiming that I am mentally ill, why don't you take yourself to court? Because you are insane. You're insane if you're going to allow these corporations to do the brain initiative, kill little girls and little boys with false flag staged incidents so that they can all of a sudden on TV, you're going to be, well, you're going to be watching TV one day and they're going to go, we have a robotic soldier. Hey, we're going to go to war with Russia and China. So we're going to have to build robots. And next thing you know, all the car manufacturers will be converted to robot building facilities. Ladies and gentlemen, this is why the car dealers are involved in this. Let me tell you something. What I found with my research, the car dealers are so deep into the robot building thing. It's just like what happened to Ford when Vietnam hit. They shut the plant down and they started building tanks and jeeps. Ladies and gentlemen, this time they're going to build robots. Anybody want to bet me? Anybody want to throw down some money that I'm right? And I hope I'm wrong. I hope I lose the bet. Right now I'm offering a thousand bucks that within 10 to 15 years, we will be having robot soldiers. Well, well we already have it, but... I'm telling you that there'll be a false war probably by uh, 2025, I would, I would guarantee you, and they're going to start building robots. And you're going to look around and you're going to go, what happened to all my friends that I grew up with in high school? Where are they? I don't even, I, where are they? They're gone. And then you're going to have a bunch of foreigners living in your neighborhood and the next thing you know, those foreigners will be killed. And the next thing you know, they're going to be replaced with robots. And you won't have anybody to help you. And that's the problem with the betrayers. They die last, but then there's nobody to defend them. And there's no ch possibility for you to win the war because you're a betrayer. Ladies and gentlemen, if you stop killing the victims of this brain mapping project, you can win this war. You can siege these corporations that participated in this. And you can make America great again. Okay, you can give these corporations back to the human race. And let us decide if we want to do human experiments on people. That's the problem with corporations. They decide something, and everybody just follows along because they control the monetary system. Whatever they decide to do, they just do it. That's what they call the Tower of Babel. You know, whatever they want to do, everybody just follows along, no matter what it, even if it's wiping out the, the human species. All right, I got to stop talking. I've talked too long. I love you all. I hope that you decide the right thing. I really do. And I know I'm right because I, I've had a lot more experience than anybody knowing this stuff. I've worked for these corporations. I know what they're planning. There's no question in my mind I'm right. Plus, I've been a victim for years. You know, and and I've been passionately trying to figure out how my daughter died and who killed her. So that makes me a very wise man when it comes to this technology. And I am telling you that they used my daughter to make robots and smart cars and smart houses. That's what they did. And when they launched that, my daughter was superior than the average person, I'm telling you. She was much smarter than the average person. You don't want her brain to battle the average person because she'll probably win. I'll tell you that right now. She was, if, you know, you know, one of the things that they do with the people that they've targeted is they erase their history just like Michael Jackson said, history, they are erasing your history. They erase their history. Okay. They will say, Frederick wasn't a great salesman. He was just average. He was whatever. He, was, he wasn't. But knowing in their hearts that they're lying, but they have to say that because 
If he was that extraordinary, how come he doesn't have a job? How come he was thrown into the science experiment? You see, if he was average, why would we use him as a robot? So that's why they paid women to character assassinate me, gaslight me, to where I just look like a, a crazy lunatic making up a story. You know, ladies and gentlemen, I am telling you as a fact, and it's not bragging, I am telling you, I was one of the best salesmen on this planet. I promise you. Believe me or not, but I'm telling you, that's why they selected me. And my daughter was extremely intelligent, more than me. I was, I'm wiser than her in the ways of the dark side, but she was very sharp. And, and like I said, if they're going to build robots, they're not going to choose dummies. Do you think they're going to choose somebody average for a robot? I don't think so. But so what, what do they do? Their defense is, well, Frederick, you were average. No, I wasn't. Yes, you were. Prove it. Well, they erased all the evidence. Seriously. They, they go in, they change your work history, your credit reports, your job history. And then they say, well... He's making all this up. Why would we want to do human experiments on him? You know, I've even had women say that, oh, he's he's this and he's that and he's he's he beats women and I've had I've had so many lies told about me. It's unbelievable. You know. Um and all right, I gotta stop talking. I love you all. Thanks for listening.